TPP is the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement and it began in um, 2005. It was a very small agreement between uh, a bunch of countries like New Zealand and Brunei and Singapore. It was really very modest. It just tr wanted to increase the trade amongst those countries. And then in 2010, the US sort of invited itself and said, well, you've got a, a rather nice little treaty there. Why don't you let us join in? And since that time, TPP has been growing and growing in importance until now it is trying effectively to define what trade will be like for the next kind of 20 or 30 years. So it's a massively important global treaty that's trying to set the terms for not just trade but also a lot of other legal aspects of life in the future years. WikiLeaks uh, actually managed to get hold of probably the most important because most contentious chapter. It's dealing with what's called IP, so it's things like copyright and patents. And one reason why that's so important is because it has massive effects on the internet. So everyone, like everyone watching this for example, will be affected by these rules because it's trying to set the rules for how people use the internet. So I'll just run through some of the kind of things it's doing. Um, I mean, it's, it's very broad. It covers, as I say, patents and copyright. So, for example, for patents, uh, it's, it's nearly all the Americans who are driving this. As you say, it's hard to read, partly because there are some things that the Americans want, there are some things the Australians want, and so it's a kind of mishmash. But basically what I'm going to be talking about is what the Americans want, because they are the ones driving this, and basically everyone else is fighting them. Uh, for example, for patents, they want to be able to patent animals. They think that would be a really good idea. Um, another good idea, they think, is that you can patent surgical methods. So whereas we tend to think of health as being something you just, you know, try and uh, help by letting doctors do what they can, they actually want to patent it. So you get people who will be forbidden from doing operations because it might infringe on someone's patent. So that's another really interesting idea. Um, so that's, that's, the patent side is, is that kind of thing. It's just making the system worse in many ways, trying to make patents even stronger to get more money out of people. But let's, let's concentrate on copyright because that's really what's going to affect the internet and therefore your viewers mostly. Uh, it's got a lot of things like extending the term of copyright. So uh, copyright typically lasts for 70 years after the death of the person who's created something. Um, interestingly, when copyright was invented in 1710, it was only 14 years. So you can already see that it's extended massively. Um, some countries like Mexico want to now make it 100 years after the death of the creator. So they want to extend copyright. Um, they also want to um, bring in the idea that even temporary copies are covered by copyright. You say, well, why would I care about that? Well, everything traveling across the internet is actually a copy. Everything on your computer when you download stuff, when you watch this program, is a copy. And they want to bring in copyright for that. So you'd have to get permission just to download anything across the internet or even have it on your computer. So they're trying to broaden the range of copyright. Um, they're also trying to make DRM, the idea of locking down copyright materials, even more stringent so that you can't actually um, you know, break the, the copyright on things like uh, DVDs or anything else, bring in more stringent laws against that. Um, they want to bring in very harsh civil damages. So if you're found to have infringed on copyright, they want to bring in laws that would effectively let you be sued for practically everything. Like they, They're claiming things like the effective loss of revenue, the lost profits, the damages. They just pile it on, so try to make it as expensive as possible. Um, worse than that are the criminal damages, just to distinguish between the two. Cri uh, civil damages are when you get sued for money. Criminal damages are when they send you to prison. Mm -hmm. um, what they want to do is to extend copyright infringement, so if you make illegal copies, from being just civil to a criminal offence. So if you actually made a, a copy of something on the right scale, they would then send you to prison. It wouldn't just be a matter of paying a fine. 